Hello, second grade. Uh, it's time for our book. Uh, but before we get started with our book today, I'm going to start practicing something that I think will be helpful when we get back together um, at the school. And that is to be careful and make sure we don't spread any germs. We're just going to do, I'm going to do the folded hands, give you a little bow before, uh, instead of the high five, just to be safe, okay? So I thought we could practice that here. So, good day, second grade. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for listening. All right, well, today's book is Coyote Places the Stars. This is a uh, um, based on a story from the Wasco Indian people. And it's by Harriet Peck Taylor, or retold by Harriet Peck Taylor, I should say. And I thought it would be a fun book to read, since we did something about stars yesterday. Coyote Places the Stars. Many moons and many moons ago, a coyote lived in a canyon by a swift running river. He spent his days roaming the land, chasing butterflies and sniffing wildflowers. He lay awake many nights, gazing at the starry heavens. One summer night, as he was relaxing in the cool grass, his friend, with his friend Bear, Coyote had an idea. I think I will climb to the heavens and discover their secrets. Bear scratched his big, big head and asked, How do you do that? I can get up there with no trouble at all, Coyote said. Now, Coyote was very skillful with a bow. Oh, sorry, I'm going to show you the. Now, Coyote was very skillful with a bow and arrow. He gathered a very large pile of arrows and began to shoot them at the sky. The first arrow whistled through the air and landed on the moon. Coyote launched a second arrow, which caught the notch of the first. Whirr, it went, went one arrow, whiz, went the next, and on and on until... His long line of arrows made a ladder. Coyote then began to climb. He climbed for many days and nights until he finally reached the moon. He slept all that day as he was very tired. That night, Coyote had another clever idea. He wondered if he could move the stars around by shooting them with his remaining arrows. His first arrow hit a star and it moved across the sky. He found he could place the stars wherever he wanted. Coyote uh, you know, wagged his bushy tail and yelped for joy. He was going to make some pictures in the sky for all the world to see. First, he decided to make a coyote. So he shot one arrow after another until the stars arranged in the shape of a coyote. Next, he thought of his friend Bear, and placed the stars for and placed the stars in the form of a bear. Coyote worked all night, creating the likenesses of all of his friends: mountain lion, horse, goat, fish, owl, and eagle. With the stars. He had left over, he made a big road across the sky. When he was finished, he began to descend his ladder back to earth. And this is a little dark, but you can kind of see the constellations and the, the lines connecting them. I wish this was a lighter picture. That night... 
when the bright moon rose in the east. Coyote saw his handiwork and began to howl. Kate was yeah was carried on the wind through the shadows of the canyon. Birds and animals awoke suddenly and listened to the mysterious sound. It seemed to be calling them. From canyons and mesas, hills and plains they came, following the sound. Bears bounded out of their dens. Squirrels scampered and rabbits hippity-hopped over the hills. Bobcats crept and bristly porcupines waddled along the trail. Graceful deer moved swiftly while lizards slowly crawled across the ground. Silvery fish splashed in their, their way upstream. The mighty mountain lion and herds of buffalo joined in the journey. The great eagle soared over moonlit mountains. On and on went the parade of animals following Coyote's magical voice. Finally, Coyote appeared high on a rock. And the animals formed a huge circle, and all became quiet. Coyote's eyes blazed with pride as he said, Animals and birds, and all who are gathered here, please look at the sky. You will see the stars are arranged in the shapes of animals. I made a ladder to the moon, and from there I shot my arrows to create the pictures you see. As the animals looked up, a great chorus of woofing and whiffing, screeching and squawking filled the air. I made a coyote and my friend bear. You will see the mysterious owl, the great eagle, the goat, horse, fish, and the mighty mountain lion. This is my handiwork, and I hope that all who see it will remember coyote and all the animals of the canyon. Ooh, yeah, ooh, ah. <laughs> the animals gave a great feast for Coyote, and they sang and danced through the night. The animals decreed that Coyote was the most clever and crafty of all the animals. Coyote was so grateful that he declared, I will always be your friend and the friend of your children's children. Now, to this day, if you listen closely in the still of the night as the moon is rising, you may even hear the magical howl of Coyote. He is calling to you to your calling you to your window to gaze at the star pictures and to dream. The author's note. Coyote places the stars as a retelling of a Wasco Indian story. It is based on two printed versions of the legend. How Coyote Arranged the Night Sky in They Dance in the Sky, Native American Star Myths by uh, Jean Gard Monroe and Ray A. Williamson. And Coyote places the stars in Giving Birth to Thunder, Sleeping with His Daughter, Coyote Builds North America by Barry Hallstrom Lopez. And to create the illustrations, the art, artist painted with dyes on cotton fabric. Detail, <clears throat> detailing was applied with a wax uh, resist method. Transparencies of the art were then color separated and used a four color printing process. Okay, again, I wish you could see better the constellations, but it is a beautiful picture. All right, Coyote places the stars. 
This one's a little different, I think, don't you? I mean, Coyote's usually a trickster. And this one, he's the hero. That's kind of cool. I guess it just depends on which coyote you run into. Okay. So today, I want you to draw in your notebook for one of the questions. I want you to draw how you might rearrange the stars to represent you and your friends. And then I want you to answer this question. As I said, in this book, Coyote's kind of the hero. So I want you to answer the question, you know, is it possible for uh, people, to, for tricksters to change? Or do you think that maybe later on Coyote would play some other kind of trick? I mean, just, just tell me, you know, is he, is he really doing a good job in this one? Or has he got something sneaky planned? You let me know. I want to know your opinion. There is no right or wrong answer to that one because you have to tell me what you think the story would end like. So, you tell me about what you think of Coyote. Draw, draw some star pictures of you and your friends. And have a very good day. Don't forget to get some exercise and some sunshine safely. Stay strong, second grade. Stay healthy. I will be back tomorrow to read another book. And again, thank you for listening. Until later.